hey you guys it's your girl heaven welcome back to the channel happy new year to all today's video is going to consist of a challenge as you know and as you've seen on my channel i build <laughs> i'm a builder i build houses and other other sorts of things on occasion um but i don't ever give myself a limit to how much i am to spend on these builds meaning they are they are absurdly expensive <laughs> but for those who are more seasoned to the game we know our way around those we know we can easily get quick money to get those houses get those builds or we can put in a cheat but not everybody is able to do cheats you know not everybody is accustomed to the cheats not everybody is comfortable with the cheats so today i challenged myself i am going to build a starter home for the base game only <laughs> with restriction of only using 20,000 simoleons i don't know if i can do it base game doesn't really have great pieces of furniture but we'll try also i will not be using any floor plan references meaning this is from the top of my head i'm just going to be building a structure of a home that makes sense to me but before we get started in this video please do not forget to subscribe to my channel click that notification bell so you are notified whenever i post on this channel also leave a like leave a comment what's your favorite piece of furniture in the sims or what is your favorite pack in the sims let me know but without further ado let's get started hey Rumi. so here's the thing as i continuously watch this video i realized that i messed up and did not mute my game audio in obs studio instead i muted my computer volume so all you hear is a clash of my voice and the game music so what I have done for you instead is sped up the build process of this video and I'm just going to talk over that for you guys. As you'll see right now, I was just trying to figure out like the placement of everything I still don't like how the house came out, but if I could redo it, I would. I just don't feel like recording another video. But um, I tried to keep a concept for the stylization of the house to a minimum because I could have went all overboard, but we literally only ended up with like 100 simoleons at the end of this build. the house on the outside is a red brick home 
Um, I didn't put any wallpaper on the outside of the house till towards the end of this build process. Just because I wanted to see how much funds we have left. But I kind of do like the red shutter look with the red door. It actually looks really nice. I also believe that I maybe should have placed down the necessary objects for a sim playthrough for them to actually function properly and actually live a decent life in these starter homes because I was just, you know, kind of confused about like, I, I know what I'm used to using in a build, but sadly I was not able to use all of those elements. So I was kind of put at a stop as to what I really wanted. So that was kind of a bummer, but you know, to, you know, it happens, it happens, but I mean, you're still able to play in this house. If you want to, you can change it off of my gallery. I will link my origin ID in the description below so you'll be able to get this house off the gallery. The base game itself really does not have any good swatches in my opinion. The only good swatches actually come from like the couch that I use in most of my builds. Also which is a couch that I use in this build specifically because it was a cheaper couch and also I knew it had on the better side of more swatches but definitely I would love 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 if anybody could help me out I would love to like make custom CC or just custom swatches for certain furniture pieces in the Sims build um because I know that a lot of people might not like it and I might just set it at the same price as in game or even cheaper which would make a lot more sense. Um, also, for the theme of the inside of the house, I didn't really have a specific theme I wanted to stick to for the inside. I just wanted it to look vibrant as possible and not so gloomy, but you can only do oh so much with the base game objects. So I did what I was capable of doing in this predicament. <laughs>
I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two-turn baby girl, you know me, still with the dolls that I grew beside. But now as we're ending towards the end of the build, you'll see me go out here and actually, I didn't put a lot of plants down because I kind of wanted to add skill building things throughout the house, which is, yeah, a telescope and a chess table, the mirror, which is necessary for, like, charisma and acting and comedy. Um, those I just wanted to place down just so you would have an option as, you have many options as to what you want to want your sim to pursue career-wise or skill-wise that would help them gain faster and, you know, get promoted faster in their careers. Um the outside of the house i wish i added windows to the roof pieces just because they looked just kind of out of place and they looked very i don't really know the word but it, it just looked ugly <laughs> and i didn't like it. it was it's an ugly house i i can admit that it's a very ugly ugly house but um it's the best that i could do off the top of my head but i know i, I have better i have better designs up there in my brain so hopefully next time the builds can be way 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 much better <laughs> because um i don't like ugly looking homes all the niggas around me riding and dying gotta watch your time cause it's flying right by two turn baby girl you know me i'm outside in it okay. right here to this youtube channel click the notification bell i also will be linking my twitch channel down below and the instagram down below as i will be streaming a lot more this year than i did last year so hopefully that will go great but thank you guys i love you and i will talk to you next time bye bye my loves